We are in Windows Server 2016. Let's take a look about the difference between server options and scope options. So if we take a look at our scope options here, we see that in our scope, we're going to have our router, our DNS server, and our domain name handed out to DHCP clients, which is great. But we also see server options, which gives us the same types of options. So we can go in, let's do the router for instance, and we'll say 192.168.15.254. Click Add, click OK. So now we see a conflict. We see the scope option is set for the router to dot one, and we see the server option is going to be set to dot 254. So the one that's going to win here is going to be the server. The server is going to override the individual scope. So we don't want to have any type of conflict. So you want to make sure that you either delete the one in the scope, or you just set it to be the same one as in the server option. Now, if we add another scope, which we can do here, we can right click, we can choose to add another scope, then what's great about that is if it needs to have the same gateway or router address, then we can do that by setting it at the server level instead of having it at the scope option level. So let's go ahead and delete the one at the scope option level. And now as many different scopes as you have, it won't matter. It will always pick up the router because that server will service all of the different scopes you create.